Welcome to a Digidope unboxing. Today we have an Intel Arc A770. We have been waiting for this thing to show up for 20 days. Released on October 12th, we just got ours today. It's November 1st. So we're really excited, really happy it's finally here. They just were not available in Canada. Uh, we heard they started arriving the 27th, 28th uh, of October. Uh, we didn't see any available until maybe late Friday, and this was the first A770 I saw available, and we managed to grab it. There seems to be some stock of A750s at Canada Computers. Um, Memory Express is still waiting on their stock to show up, and Newegg Canada isn't stocking them yet, although they do have stock on the ASRock Challenger A380s. But we're fortunate to have this, we're really excited. Um, our friends in the U.S., of course, have had these for <clears throat> 20 days now, and we've seen lots of uh, interesting content on there. But we'd like to unbox it and uh, get ready to start making our content with it and hopefully have some new videos uh, out later this week. Well, I guess early next week. But let's have a look here. This is a really premium feeling box. It's not... Um, like it's light cardboard on regular graphics cards and then like there's a, a, a secondary sleeve that's got stiffer cardboard with the foam in it. This serves the purpose of both the exterior and interior one, I think. Okay. Let's play. Nice, high quality, dense foam. And yeah, so there is no interior box. It's just one. So that's why it's such strong material. Uh, inside here we've got the Let's Play card, which is where the CD would be back in the day, you know, when you'd have your drivers and your manuals. So let's pull that out. What do we have here? Oh, we got two things. We've got <clears throat> the Let's Play book. What's in that? We've got Intel Arc. Thanks for choosing Intel Arc graphics. Designed to take your gaming and creation to the next level. And then there's a uh, old school square uh, CPU graphics card sticker. Haven't actually seen anyone put those on a chassis in quite a while. Well, that's neat though. And then we have Intel Arc graphics card uh, with a URL, intel.com slash arc quick start. Um, don't know if there's a QR code here to take you to the site. Multi-language, uh, English. Now uh, the graphics card is meant to be professionally installed. We can probably take care of that. Okay, uh, anything else in the box? I guess it's just our graphics card. It is really nice looking. The shroud is smooth. It's a nice high quality plastic. The fans are many bladed. Uh, I would say that's high static pressure interesting on a, on a graphics card. Nice matte finish on the IO shield. Let's take this out and have a look. Oh, it's in there. Good. Oh, that is a chonky boy. Oh, I, I realize you can't tell, but this is, this is heavy. I think this is heavier than my 3070. Like the, the fin density must be really high inside this card it is uh they're matte black they do look fairly close together you can't really see through them that is that is heavy we're gonna we're gonna get some examples of that in a minute um nice back plate kind of like a almost a carbon fiber look um arc 770 limited edition looks nice uh, you can see some of the diffusing here that will happen from the uh, leds uh, rgb controller some more diffusion layer around the outside here and then if i'm not mistaken there's also diffusion inside uh, the fan blade area uh, on the back we've got some fairly standard fare we got three display port and one hdmi pretty standard stuff. Wow, I can't get over the weight of this card. 
that is that is impressive. Um, I guess it is 225 watts, uh, eight pin and six pin power. Um, I mean, you're getting close to a 3070 Founders Edition power there. I think they're 220 watt. Uh, but let's see here. What else is in the box? Arc. Oh, I know what this is. Nice little blue box here that says Intel Arc embossed on it. I bet you that this is the RGB controller. <clears throat> so instead of doing it like some more modern graphics cards over the PCI Express where you control your lighting, uh, there's a separate header here. So it just plugs into a USB motherboard header. And then there should be a really tiny uh, three pin uh, header that plugs into the graphics card. I believe it's beside the power, beside the six pin. Yes, okay, so covered up here, you may not be able to see it. But right beside the six pin, there's a little rubber grommet. We can peel back, comes off, and then the RGB controller goes right in there. Other than the extra wire on the front, just some more cable management to deal with, but I guess that's not such a big deal. This thing is surprise. It's, it's just surprising how much that weighs. Um, okay. So we have our cable. Anything else in the box? That looks like it's it. I've seen a few other things, but I think those are on the review samples only. Yep. That's just more foam and then box. That's a nice box. It was well packaged. It's not, I'm not going to get damaged in shipping that way. That's for sure. Let's just close this guy up for now. And that is a nice matte black finish, but the weight on that card is, I'm going to grab another one here. I've got an RX 6600 XT and that is considerably lighter. Um, I mean, for something that's, I mean, it's a little wider, but not quite as long, but it feels like the art card is twice as heavy. Um, let's compare that again. I've got a 3060 here as well. Obviously we're going to be doing reviews. 3060 weighs more than the 6600 XT, but oh, nowhere near as much as the the Intel Arc. You know, this is, it is beautiful, but I'm, I'm just curious why it weighs so much. I do have a scale. Give me one second. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> so this will be in grams. We'll have to do some uh, calculating for our Freedom Unit friends. So this is... The RX, this is the lightest out of all of them. RX 6600 XT, 606 grams. Okay, so that's like, there's 455 grams in a pound. So it's a pound, not quite a pound and a half. The 3060, the Zotac, 645 grams. So, almost a pound and a half there, um, 40 grams heavier than the 6600. Now the A770. <laughs> Thousand and ninety grams. So that is over two pounds. Um, that's like 2.3, 2.4 pounds. Um, that is a heavy graphics card. Wow. I mean, it's it, ha it must have amazing cooling. Those fans look pretty impressive. And the fins, I'll try to get a better look at the fins here. I'm not sure if, you can, if I have the light angled right that you'll be able to see through them. But the fins are really tightly packed. Much more so than on the... I can't really see the fin stack on that one very well. Uh, they're all going a different way, but I would say that the, f the fin spacing is 
half as wide as on the 3060 and the 6600. Move those guys back out of the way. Wow, 1,090 grams. Well, it certainly feels like a premium product. Well, I guess that's been it for our unboxing. Beautiful card. And uh, drivers have been uh, making a few revisions since the initial release. <clears throat> Most of the reviews went up with September 27th drivers. Um, then there was another release on October 11th when the actual boards released. And I believe that there was another release uh, yesterday when Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 came out. So we might have some interesting results. Uh, hopefully it fares a little better. Um, I'm definitely interested in checking out its AV1 encoding capabilities. But that has been an unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it and it was informative. And we look forward to getting you uh, the full review coming uh, hopefully by Monday of uh, next week. So that would be the 7th. All right. Well, thank you for joining us and we'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.